everybody. Today we're here with John Dame. Hey. <laughs> um, he is torturing my arm at the moment, and he's going to give us a little bit of uh, information on his technique, what he uses for black work. He's known for doing some heavy black work. Um, so this is what we're doing so far. And he's just going to talk you through what we're going to do uh, in the heavier black area. So I'm going to stop talking and try not to die while he talks to you. Cool. So I'm pretty much just using a 39 mag today, flat. Uh, best method of getting the black in there, as solid as it is, is to make sure that you're going almost at a complete straight down angle and not being gentle at all. You basically just want to be a little ruthless. I know it sucks. This is actually the best spot so far. Now, is it really? <laughs> yeah. You're like, damn, that wrist bone though. Oh, that wrist bone is fine. So what kind of voltage are you using? I know it's different for every machine. You're using the Injecta. This one is sitting at probably around like eight and a half, nine right now. Okay. So it's pretty similar. So it's a pretty high. Yeah, uh, a little bit higher than normal. Yeah, but basically you just want to go pretty hard circles and just brush back into what you just did. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty in there. It's pretty in there. <laughs> I, can, I can confirm. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you can feel it, yeah. Oh, dude. I'm feeling it in my soul. Hey, you just keep building that up. You should be able to just pack it in there, get in, get out. You don't want to spend too much time in one spot. That's where the trauma starts to happen. Yeah, I think one of my biggest fears with doing black work is overworking the skin. Yep. That's why I'd rather the machine be hitting harder. Be hitting harder? Yeah, I'd rather the machine be hitting harder and it getting in there and feeling bad than uh, spending too much time in one spot and then you end up with scars or just overworked skin. I'd rather it all just be in and out, hurt like hell, but you're going to heal so much better. Yeah. And also, it has to do with the time. Like, we've only been going, we've been going for less than an hour. Mm hmm and we already have like half of my forearm kind of done. Yep, we're gonna fly right through this. Obviously if I was doing a so solid black arm, I would be using a 49 needle, uh, probably a bar, but instead of a cartridge, cartridges do slow you down a little bit. Um, so did we talk about what stroke you're using? It is a 3.5 stroke. I usually don't go higher than that. I know a lot of these companies right now are pushing like, oh, Blackwork machine, five millimeters. You don't need that. That's just gonna cause more damage than you need. So 3.5 is more than? More than enough. Uh, the rest of it's just hand pressure. So when, how you just kind of rub the skin with your thumb? Oh yeah. Um, the pores are wide open, I'm basically just pushing more ink in and just massaging the area to smooth out. That way I can see what I just did. Okay. Kind of do the same when I get further in. I start pouring ink on you. I'm drizzling it all over me. Yep. Make you look like a Starbucks drink. So, at what point did you start to feel comfortable doing this kind of stuff? Like, as a beginner, this is definitely not something that you're just popping right into. Uh, um, kind of more so, you're you have to get the fundamentals and test going down, and then. I'd say it took me about a year of doing this directly, just constant, yeah. to figure it out. I really started pushing more of it during COVID. So you were tattooing for over 10 years at that point? Huh? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm 18 years in now, and so I'd say I was probably 14, 13, 14 years in. Okay. Um, if you start off with a style like this, that's cool, but I think you need to learn how to fill in, I don't know, just regular tattoos first, <laughs> honestly. Because you need to know how much damage you're causing to the skin, how much you can actually get away with. Yeah, because like even just, I mean, I've been tattooing for a while now as well, and this is not something that I would want to attempt, like just without seeing somebody that actually knows what they're doing. Yeah. This is definitely, I don't know, it's definitely cool to watch. Definitely looks like I'm destroying you. 
But like just looking at it up close, and I'll get it on film in a minute, um, when we took our break, it doesn't look damaged. It doesn't look chewed up like at all. Yeah, all, all, everything's all nice and saturated and smooth. Yeah. It's, it's definitely skin. swollen, but it's not like... It, there, there's no like visible like punctures or like tears in yeah. the skin at all. It's really smooth. Okay, let me show it real quick. Yeah. But it's very like just consistent. So you were uh, saying about design. That's something yes. to pay attention to. A lot of new black work artists don't pay attention to the actual design pattern shape. And they think that all black would be just kind of go in and start blacking stuff out. Mm -hmm. you, your tattoo is only going to be as good as the pattern you're doing. Right. So if the pattern is slightly off, like, it's going to look slightly off. You're, just, you're not going to be able to fix it. Right. I've seen too many people do a pattern like this and they accidentally go the wrong direction. Right. Because they don't prep. They erase right. it. Black work is so blunt that you can tell when something's wrong. <laughs> Versus, oh, like, a regular sure. tattoo, you can hide that little line. Yeah. Like, oh, I'll shade that, like, the nautical star. If you accidentally start shading that wrong side... You can fix it. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, maybe not. You know, I think adding shading to the little star works great. You yeah. You have a black work. No. You just end up having to black it out. I'm not down for that. Yeah, now that you've felt it, you're like, why would you... Oh, no, that? this is this is rough. This is definitely... It's just so constant. Yeah, there's no breathe room. No. It's just the constant sensation. But then there's spots that are like nothing. Like the inside of my arm is definitely really sensitive right now, but like when we were doing the top of my forearm, it was... Oh, back there? Yeah. Yeah, that was like fine. It and just felt like... that wrist and you're like, what the hell? Yeah. But like this right now, it's like... All right, so John's done finally torturing me. Um, can you explain what you did with the ink over uh, top now? Yeah, I just grab, I'll take my glove and I'll, with, obviously with gloves and I'll put my hand in the ink and I'll rub it on or sometimes I'll pour it on. And you just rub it in the skin a little bit and what that does is it helps close up the skin because the ink's going to dry it a little bit. And it helps pack more ink in the open wound so that it's going to heal even darker. Right. And so put yayo on top or, or some sort of aftercare to keep it from drying out too hard. Cool. Yeah, so this is all just ink right now, the, the actual tattoos underneath it. So we'll wipe it off in a little bit when I'm done. Dying over here. <laughs> I pass out. Um, I think we're past that point. I think we're past that point. I explain to the people what we're about to do. Yeah, lather it up with the ointment that you use for your tattoo. I use a yayo. Yeah -yo. Puzzle butter's great too. And then I'll grab one of these little accident pads and cut it in half. And then I wrap it on, not too tight, but this will keep it on until you go to bed tonight. And then you. Wrap it in saran wrap before you go to bed instead. But this will help you from looking like a disaster out in public for a little while. It looks like I'm an astronaut. Yeah, it's gonna make it look like a cast. So what does this do opposed to like a second skin that's like super popular? So second skin with black work, it's gonna pop. It's gonna oh, because the amount? Liquid. Yeah, there's yeah. no, so in order for that stuff to stick on you, you have to have fresh skin that's right. not broken. So with stuff like this, like, there's really It would be that. only down here and up here. Up there. So as soon as you move once like this, you're going to have, you're going to look like you messed them up. It's going to be gross. Yeah. yeah. So the, another good brand that they use, you can use Tattoo Armor. I don't know if you've used them before. I've heard of them, but I've never used them. It's similar to this. Okay. Um, but it sticks on a lot more. Hmm. Um, this is just easier to get because I can go get this at the store. Okay. Here locally. And I'll just cut in half. Yeah. You know? Right. I got you. And then tape. Cool. So. Awesome. Yeah. Appreciate it. Easy. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so everybody go follow John on Instagram. What is it? Tattoos by John Dame? Yes. All right, I'll pop it up. Uh, I'm going to do a video about, well, we'll record it about the aftercare. Yeah. I'll be posting that as well. And then also a healing process of how this whole thing goes step by step. It's so, interesting. Yeah. All right, that's the end of the video. <laughs>